They're so glad to have each and every one of you here for our special uh, burning bowl service. So I want to uh, go ahead and uh, just sort of give you an agenda about what we're going to be doing. Uh, this, cer this ceremony, the burning bowl ceremony, has been uh, has a long trad tradition with unity. And those of you who have participated in a burning bowl ceremony know how meaningful and powerful this ritual can be. So this, today, this, this morning, we are going to have three times of meditation. Uh, the first meditation that we're going to have, and we'll introduce it with a song, uh, is for uh, gratitude. A meditation on gratitude uh, for the blessings of 2022. Uh, it's a time to reflect on this past year. And then, um, and, uh, then we will go to uh, make a commitment uh, in our second part to the year 2023. And that commitment uh, in, on the second part is what the whole burning bowl is about. It's what, what are we going to, we're going to go into a meditation and we're going to, to think back and what are the things that we, that kept us stuck last year. Uh, we're going to uh, think of anything negative that, that had popped up that's no longer serving us. We are going to write that down and we are going to end up uh, burning that at the end of the, of the meditation to, uh, to symbolically let, let it go. So ideas held in mind create after their kind. And if your mind is filled with worry, anxiety, and fear as we enter 2023, then that is what we will create for ourselves. Uh, so we want to let that all go so we can bring into the new year a new life. During a time of meditation and reflection, like I say, we will write down those things that come to us during the meditation. And just FYI, for those of you here, and I don't have my, my flash paper, uh, could you give me a piece? <clears throat> Everyone should have gotten a piece of flash paper, okay? Uh, this is what you will be, if you don't have one, just raise your hand and we'll make sure you get one. So when we write down the things that we want to let go of, this is the paper that we will use. And so it's important not to use the other paper that you got with the envelope. Uh, and so we don't wanna make a lot of smoky mess in here. <laughs> so, so use the flash paper to write down just words that, that will tell you the things that you are letting go of. And then when it comes time at the end of the, of the meditation, we'll come and we'll just put these to the flame and they'll just go up. It's called flash paper and it just goes up. All right, so that is part two, which is the burning bowl section. And then we're going to end our ceremony by spending some more time in meditation and writing a letter to God and claiming our good and setting our intention for 2023. So let's get ready for our first meditation and our contemplation of what we have grateful to, what we're grateful for. And so this whole service today is made up of several different meditations that we're going through. And so if you can, try to keep a meditative state during this whole service today. So I invite you now to just relax in your seat and if there's any tension in your body, I just I sometimes in my shoulders, it's tense. So if, if it's a tense somewhere, just sort of, what I like to do, just sort of scrunch up the mus muscles wherever you're tense and just let it go. And if that helps me to relax. As we sit here and make our bodies still, we allow our minds to become still. If anything's in your mind about what happened before today or something that happened yesterday, let that go. If you have thoughts about what needs to be done later on today after this service, let it go. Just let it all go 
and bring your attention to this present moment right here, right now. So I invite you to just stay in this meditative state. For Unity founders Charles and Myrtle Fillmore, a key to prosperity in one's life is an attitude of gratitude. They taught us to praise, bless, and express gratitude for what that we want to increase in our life. And then there was the 13th century German theologian and priest, Meister Eckhart, and he indicated the great importance of gratitude when he remarked, if the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, that will be enough. And in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, the Apostle Paul said, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So my question to take into meditation with you right now is, what am I grateful for for 2022? What are you grateful for? So we're going to spend just a little bit of time in the silence, I'm going to ring the chime, and at the end of the meditation, I will ring, uh, ring it again. But let us spend just a little bit of time with open and receptive hearts and minds. And what are we grateful for for 2022? So what are you grateful for for 2022? So I invite you to return to, your, to this present space and present moment. And I want you to stand up. And I want you to just find one person either to the side of you or behind you or in front of you and just turn to them and say, tell them one thing, just one thing that you are grateful for for 19, for 19, for 2022. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, yeah, for 2022. And if you can think back at to 19, no. <laughs> What do you, one thing you are, are uh, grateful for. And for those of you online with us, uh, just type something in the chat box and let us know what one thing that you are grateful for for 2022. All right, you may be seated now. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. So now we come to that part uh, of our burning bowl, uh, uh, part of our service. But, you know, the great theologian, uh, and, and he was a Catholic priest, uh, Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, uh, he said, he's the one that made the comment that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. 
We are spiritual beings having a human experience. So these are two totally different uh, protects, per perspectives, two different ways to look at life and going about living. Uh, to, uh, to look at your life either through and the world through the eyes of your ego or to look out at the world through the eyes of Christ, through the eyes of your own divinity, through the eyes of your divinity where wherever you look, knowing the truth that there is only one presence and one power in the universe and in our life, no matter where you look, our job is to see the divinity, to see the Christ in every person that we meet. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, the Apostle Paul said, So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything hath become new. This is an ongoing process. Everything is always becoming new. Every single moment of your life is new. If, if we just would just stay in that moment and, 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 and just accept that moment as it is. Accept it and let it go because that is life. Every moment is a new moment. Jesus talked about dying to the old self. He said, uh, you must be born again. And what that means is that we need to be dying to our old ways of doing things, our old ways of living. And, and it's only by, as we die to the old things and the old ways of living that we awaken and become fully present to the, this moment. Uh, and, and this is where the process of transformation in our lives come from. It comes from being in the moment. Uh, in Romans 12, 2, uh, Paul said, the Apostle Paul said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, listen again, that is an ongoing process. Every moment we are called to let go, to accept fully the present moment. And as we let go of the past, as we let go of the stuff that has happened to us, we are fully capable of dealing with whatever is given to us in the moment. There was a philosopher, Lao Tzu, who wrote the Tao Te Ching uh, in 601 BC. He said, when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. When I let go of what I have, I receive what I need. So we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking that we used when we created them. That is a quote from a very smart man, Albert Einstein. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them in the first place. So it is a powerful understanding and awareness that we receive what we want and what we need. Uh, to do that, we have to be willing to let go of where we are and what we have, where we see ourselves, what we think about ourselves, what we think about the world, all of the things that hold us back and keep us stuck. The invitation is to step into the living present moment but we first have to let go of the old. And this is what the burning bowl service is all about. So I'm gonna give you instructions on the burning bowl section. So again, everyone here should have a piece of flash paper and that is what we are going to write the things down on that we want to let go. So th this is the piece, this is the flash paper, it's the little piece here, it's not the big piece. You need one? Okay. Uh, Devani needs one. Anybody else doesn't have a piece of flash paper? Okay. And for those of you at home, what you can do is just get a piece of writing paper. And then you will write down the things that you wish to let go of. And then after, after the service today, you can, uh, or even during the service, you can find a place to safely burn it. 
uh, either burn it outside or burn it in the sink. Uh, and it depends on how big, big your list, your list is. <laughs> but we give you a little list here, so you just have to put, you know, little, little words of the, you know, that'll clue you in on what you're letting go. Okay. Now, so uh, in just a moment, we are going to sing another song, and we'll stay seated for that one as well. And um, then I'm, we're going to have our affirmation for today, and then I will ring the chime again, and we will enter into another meditation uh, where you'll have the opportunity to write down those things you want to uh, uh, let go of. So let's prepare for our second meditation by singing uh, The Power of Now. So our affirmation for today is easily, gracefully, I release the past so that I am free in this moment for all that is possible now. Will you repeat that with me? It should be on the screen. Easily, gracefully, I release the past so that I am free in this moment for all that is possible now. So again, let's uh, enter into a meditation and relax. I'm going to ring the bell as we enter. So do just relax again in your seat, letting go of all the thoughts in your mind allowing your body to be fully at rest in your seat. So we begin by releasing and letting go of any ideas or beliefs or thoughts or activities, judgments or anything like that that we feel have not supported us this past year. Anything that gets in the way of us feeling happy and connected and having a sense of a fulfilled life. Fear of COVID, fear of the economy, let go of fear. Deny that it has any control, any power over you. As the, the apostle John said, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. So as we rest for a little while in the, in the silence here, we are going to be putting on our flash paper, writing down anything that comes up during the meditation. Things that need to be released, something that happened to you, for example, this past that brings you resentment or frustration or anger. Any thoughts or cares about the future? What fears are you holding on to? limited thoughts and beliefs such as i'm not good enough i'm not smart enough emotions that are draining us anger fear frustration resentment thoughts about your body thoughts about your relationships our finances any thoughts that is bringing us distress we just let them go and I do just want to remind you of Jesus' instructions in Matthew 6, 14 through 15, where he was teaching the Lord's Prayer. And he said, if you forgive others their if, for if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. To be forgiven, we must first forgive ourselves. So let it go. You don't have to forget it, but you have to let it go. And sometimes that's a hard road to, to, to take, but it is something that is absolutely essential. If we see anything in our heart where we have not forgiven, then just open your heart and allow that to fall away. Your soul is meant to be spacious and open. 
and it is designed to be expansive and filled with the aliveness of spirit. It's not like a closet that you stick all your junk in and until it's full. We have to make room for the new by letting go of all of those frustrations, all of those things that are causing us suffering. So let's just spend just a little bit of time in the silence. Let us just take a few more moments to write down anything that we want to let go of this for this coming year. Anything we do not want to bring into the new year with us. So you, will you please repeat our affirmation one more time. Easily, gracefully, I release the past so that I am free in this moment for all that is possible now. Easily, gracefully, I release the past so that I am free in this moment for all that is possible now. So this is how we're going to do it. We're now going to burn that piece of flash paper. Symbolically, we are letting go of all of the stuff that we do not want to bring with us into the new year. So we're, what we're gonna do is this aisle here is gonna be one way, okay? So people will come out and come up here and, and, and just place your uh, flash paper uh, into the, the flame. Just touch it on the flame and let it go quickly because it will, it will go up real quick. So just, just, just put it on the flame and it will burn up. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down this aisle here. For those of you over here, you can come along the back and then you will go back to your seat that way. Okay? So here we are. <clears throat> Before, before we do that, before we burn it, let's take it in your hand. I, I, want, I missed a little part here. Take it in your hand, and I want you to repeat after me. I now release what I don't want. I now release what I don't want. To make room for the desires of my heart. I now forgive and release. Everything and everybody. Of the past or the present, the past or the present who, needs who needs forgiveness and release. I let go and I let God. Spirit, the one presence and one power is at work. Doing its perfect work in, through, and as me. 
in this experience for the highest good of all concerned. Now you may burn those, those pieces of paper. Burn baby. <laughs> Do you feel a little lighter? <laughs> very, very cleansing. So now we come to our third part. And that is, letting, uh, that is letter to God, which is when we set our intention. So you, sh you should have been given an envelope with a piece of paper in it. And you need something to write with, and we can give you a pencil or a pen if you don't have one. And so you're going to take out that, that piece of paper, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to write a letter to God. But let me give you a little bit of more instructions. So when we speak of God here at Unity, we're not speaking of a God that is separate from us out there somewhere. For us, where we really are stand out from much of mainline Christianity, is that when we talk about God, we are talking about a spirit that is everywhere present, that is all-knowing, that not something out there, but something that we literally live and move and have our being in. Jesus made the statement that I and the Father are one. He realized that truth, and our, that is what we hear, are always speaking of, is the truth of our oneness, that there is only one presence and one power. And so we're going to write a letter, and we'll use, you can use whatever term you want. If you're not comfortable with God, I'm perfectly comfortable with God, because it, the word is not God. It is, a, it, is a, it is a pointing to something that is beyond words. But in this little exercise, we're just going to say, Dear God, or again, you can say, Dear Divine uh, Spirit or di di uh, Divine Mind, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. So we're going to allow ourselves during this meditation to awaken and to become aware of this ever-present spirit, our higher self, the one presence and the one power, the truth of who we are, uh, to help us visualize the blessings we would like to experience and receive this next year. And we set an intention. In this meditation, we will set our intentions of what we want to see and experience and feel in this coming new year. And how do we write this? This is how I want you to write it. And again, use the word that works best for you. Dear God, thank you for, and then you write whatever it is you desire or hope to experience more of this coming year. As though it is already so. Okay, so in other words, thank you God that I have completed this. Or thank you God that I have experienced this. Or thank you, God, I have this. And this is a type of affirmative prayer, which is what we teach in unity. Uh, what we are doing is we are transmuting the negative energy that we just let go of and released uh, in this process as we set our intention. And so we're going to end the letter with this. Thank you, God, for this or something even greater. So that's how you will end the letter. Thank you, God, for this or something even greater. You know, sometimes we really limit ourselves, you know, uh, as to what, you know, we, we say, oh, I can only have this. Well, no, you can have so much more. So don't limit yourself. Then what you're going to also need to do uh, is you will address the letter to you, okay, like you're mailing it to yourself. So you're going to address the letter to yourself, and please put the, at your address and everything on it, because what we'll do is we will collect the, the letters afterwards, and, uh, and, and then next year, right before Christmas, we'll send them to you. We'll mail them to you. So for those of you online, 
what you can do is you can just write yourself a letter and then put on it to be opened, uh, say, on December the 26th of 2023, and put it in a place that you'll remember where it is. And then, a year, you know, a little, a, almost a year later, you're going to be opening that letter and see what you wrote. And it really is quite incredible. It really is. It's very, it's, it's incredible. If you, if you really put your heart into this, it's an incredible what you can, uh, that letter will really do something for you. So just, just put it, if you have an altar at home, that's a great place for it. Stick it, stick it on the altar and just leave it there to be open on, on uh, Christmas or uh, December the 26th or whatever day you want around Christmas. 